search, first go to library.wisp.cn. Click on the link WIS School Library. Then log in by clicking on the login button in the top right hand of the screen. Your login is the same as your school login. And if you don't know your password, check with one of the library team. Once you're logged in, your screen should look something like this. By clicking on the My Info tab, you can see any items that you have out, when they're due back, any fines for books that have been lost or damaged, if you have a hold for a book that you're waiting for, and any recommended titles. Today we're going to look at resource lists. Click on the resource list tab at the left hand side. You can have any number of resource lists to help with your research for different subjects. Simply click to add a list, give it a name of the subject or the project, perhaps genetics. You can put a description in. You can make the list public if you're doing work with a team and you want other members of your team to see the list when it's finished. Save your list and it will appear in your lists. Now we're going to start to do some research. Click on the catalogue and start to search for genetics. A simple search by keyword by pressing enter, we search through the entire collection and the Webpath Express function which gives you graded websites. First tab will give you any titles that we have in the library collection. You'll scan down, see which ones you think will be the most useful for your research, and add those to the list you can see if they're available in the library. This one is available. I'll add that to our list. Cartoon Guide to Genetics, one of two available. i add that to the list. And so on, until you've gathered a list of titles that you want to use for your research. We also have Webpath Express for websites. Generally, using quite a broad search term like genetics, you will get a lot of results. But the great thing about Webpath Express is you can then filter these results. You can go to your own grade level. You can look at particular sources. Maybe you just want sources from an encyclopedia. Or you can look at particular topics. All these can help you filter down your search. Let's choose the human genome for grade 6 to 8. By clicking Get Results, you can filter down. We're now down to a much more manageable number of 7. There's a summary of the website. By clicking on the title, it will open in a new page. So you can have a look to see if it's going to be valuable before you decide to add it to your research. Just for this example, we're going to add the first two to the list. If you now go back to your research list, we have a look at our genetics view. You can see the two research, the two titles, the books, up here in library materials. And then the next tab is websites. Once you've used the books in the websites to help with your research, you can automatically create a citation list, a list of references, in the MLA format that we use here at this. That's the one for the
Different resources. And then click on the website tab. Let's go for the citation list. There it is. All the work done for you with the click of a button. You can also, if you want to come back to things later or you want to share, you can save your list as text, you can email it, you can copy the list for use later. If you have any questions about using the resource list to help with your research or any formatting, please talk to somebody in the library.